Magnet resistance is the property of a material to change the value of its electrical resistance when an external magnetic field is applied to it. There is a variety of effects that can be called magnet resistance, some of them occurring in bulk non-magnetic metals and semiconductors, others in magnetic metals and since 1980s magnet resistive effects in multi-component or multi-layer systems gained importance. The first magnet resistive effect was discovered by William Thomson in 1851, but he was unable to lower the electrical resistance of anything by more than 5%. Nowadays, systems are known where magnetic field can change resistance by orders of magnitude, as the resistance may depend on magnetic field through various mechanisms. It is useful to separately consider situations where it depends on magnetic field directly and those where it does so indirectly through magnetization. Discovery William Thomson first discovered ordinary magnet resistance in 1856. He experimented with pieces of iron and discovered that the resistance increases when the current is in the same direction as the magnetic force and decreases when the current is at 90 degrees to the magnetic force. He then did the same experiment with nickel and found that it was affected in the same way but the magnitude of the effect was greater. This effect is referred to as anisotropic magnet resistance. In 2007, Albert Furt and Peter Grunberg were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize for the discovery of giant magnet resistance, geometrical magnet resistance, an example of magnet resistance due to direct action of magnetic field on electric current can be studied on a Corbino disk. It consists of a conducting annulus with perfectly conducting rims. Without a magnetic field, the battery drives a radial current between the rims. When a magnetic field parallel to the axis of the annulus is applied, a circular component of current flows as well, due to the Lorentz force. A discussion of the disk is provided by Giuliani. Initial interest in this problem began with Boltzmann in 1886, and independently was re-examined by Corbino in 1911. In a simple model, supposing the response to the Lorentz force is the same as for an electric field, the carrier velocity V is given by, where mu is the carrier mobility. Solving for the velocity, we find, where the effective reduction in mobility due to the B field is apparent. Electric current will decrease with increasing magnetic field and hence the resistance of the device will increase. This magnet resistive scenario depends sensitively on the device geometry and current lines and it does not rely on magnetic materials. In a semiconductor with a single carrier type, the magnet resistance is proportional to 2, where mu is the semiconductor mobility and B is the magnetic field. In diamantimonide, an example of a high mobility semiconductor, could have an electron mobility above 4 square meters V minus 1 S minus 1 at 300 K. So in a 0.25 T field for example the magnet resistance increase would be 100%. An isotropic magnet resistance. Thomson's experiments are an example of AMRA, property of a material in which a dependence of electrical resistance on the angle between the direction of electric current and direction of magnetization is observed. The effect arises from the simultaneous action of magnetization and spin-orbit interaction and its detailed mechanism depends on the material. It can be for example due to a larger probability of SD scattering of electrons in the direction of magnetization. The net effect is that the electrical resistance has maximum value when the direction of current is parallel to the applied magnetic field. AMRA of new materials is being investigated and magnitudes up to 50% have been observed in some ferromagnetic uranium compounds. In polycrystalline ferromagnetic materials, the AMRA can only depend on the angle between the magnetization and current direction and it must follow where is the resistivity of the film and are the resistivities from, respectively, associated with longitudinal resistivity. There is also transversal resistivity dubbed the planar hall effect. 
In monocrystals, resistivity depends also on individually. To compensate for the nonlinear characteristics and inability to detect the polarity of a magnetic field, the following structure is used for sensors. It consists of stripes of aluminum or gold placed on a thin film of permaloy inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. This structure forces the current not to flow along the easy axis, a thin film, but at an angle of 45 degrees. The dependence of resistance now has a permanent offset which is linear around the null point. Because of its appearance, this sensor type is called barber pole. The AMRA effect is used in a wide array of sensors for measurement of Earth's magnetic field, for electric current measuring, for traffic detection and for linear position and angle sensing. The biggest AMRA sensor manufacturers are Honeywell, NXP Semiconductors, and SensorTech GmbH.